Well, hello there, people within the internet, and hello again. Oh, crap. And hello again. I'm David Milty. Welcome to part six of my Wrong to the War campaign as Parthia. In the previous episodes, we fought, I believe, we fought this battle against a huge uh, full stack of uh, Seleucid stuff. And then we also ventured beyond the river here and harass them a little bit in their own territory, beating back a couple armies, and also killing their factionaire. So the Seleucids aren't doing very well. If we have a little look here. Right, well, they were a lot stronger than me, but we've kind of, like, brought them down to our level. <laughs> Militarily, they are... Well, they've been recruiting something, but... Uh, in general, they have been losing quite heavily. And territorially, of course, they are, are losing stuff. They are ridiculously rich, though. <laughs> Look at that. So that explains their humongous amounts of armies. Okay, anyway, uh, in this episode, we're going to continue our attack on the Seleucids. We're going to fight this army, probably. Which, uh... Yeah, would be good. So I'm training a couple more horse archers here, and they will be sent over to uh, the, the to this guy. In the meantime, this guy is going to place some watchtowers around, and then yeah, well, I can't really go there because I'm very, very certain that that is now owned by Egypt. Uh, yeah, and in the meantime, I'm moving this guy towards Artaxata. I did. Fight one battle off camera. There was a tiny army here. It had horse arches, that's why we took damage. And the cataphracts managed to escape unscathed. So this guy's alive still. This is a random dude. And then the, this is what was left of that army. They still have their cataphracts here. I didn't beat them. They weren't in that battle that uh, I fought off camera. But for some reason they only have 10 left. So I'm pretty sure that they, would be f they were fighting rebels or something. There we go, finally. Finally, that ship is gone. Our Sakya grows. Well, I don't have enough money for that. Orders! Prepare for battle! Besieging settlement, sir. Settlement under siege, sir. All right, well... That other general moved in here, so there are three family members here that we can kill, which is great. Uh, yeah, and then we'll own our Taxata, and then we're going to immediately move through to get to Kotis. Oh, what's it called? Kotais. Kotais, something along those lines. And then we'll conquer that, and then Armenia is dead. Because that's the entire goal. Okay, need to wait one more turn until that guy is finished. Okay, there's that Egyptian army. Yeah, see, Nabatia is owned by the Egyptians. It used to be owned by rebels, but the Egyptians usually take it very early on. Alright, I'll throw a palisade around Dumatha. Anything interesting? Hmm. Let's see. Can we make that attack? Sire. Yes! There we go. And then we draw out the garrison of Antioch. Okay, Rhodian slingers that are badly damaged. Family me Two family members. Phalanx, pikemen, Greek cavalry, Cilician pirates, and then some archers. Okay, well, this should be doable. 
I didn't even need those reinforcements. The enemy oh, it is a river crossing, though. That makes this a little bit harder. Alright, is there another way to cross, or is it only the bridge? Always check this, by the way, if you're fighting a river crossing. Sometimes, not in this case, but sometimes there is another area in the river where you can cross. I mean, obviously you can cross at the bridge, but sometimes you can also cross somewhere else. Alright, so I'm not going to cross my cavalry. Or maybe I will. I don't know. Alright, well, we've saved, so if this all goes horribly wrong, we can try this again. Yeah, the river does make this a bit annoying because then we have less room to maneuver around, but. So be it. Yeah, you see, this is the danger when they are... When my guys are, first of all, acting like absolute morons. Yeah, this is horrible. Why are they... Oh, that, that's them shooting each other. Yeah, this is absolutely horrible. We're not doing that. That really fucking sucks. I, it's, I really hate it when that happens. For your lives. No more. They fucking cross the river and then they run extremely far out in order to maneuver. Like, normally when you cross the river, you cross the bridge and then you immediately go left or right or whatever I said. But what they do, they run across all the way to fucking over here and only then will they go to left or right or whatever I've told them to do, which is extremely annoying because all the AI needs to do is take two steps forward and then Order. deploy their phalanx and there you go. For okay, so that doesn't work. Well, at least not with the AI doing that and my AI being a stupid idiot. They have reinforcements, as if numbers matter. Alright, well, another thing I could try is instead of sending everyone over, is just sending my general over. Oh, I was, I was, I was very confused there. It's like, why are my units at the back, but those are the Seleucids and not me? For some reason, I thought that those were my units. So here's the garrison from the city. So we need to kill everyone here. Especially we need to kill the two family members. And then we just need to kill at least 85% of the army there. See, you can already go there, so don't run forward so much. Okay, I'm sending the... The reason why I'm sending the general here is because I really hope that these guys are going to cross. Then, of course, they will be shot to oblivion by my archers. And then I can charge them in the back, perhaps, or at least snipe their archers or slingers. But it all kind of depends on what the AI does. Which is why river battles aren't very fantastic as Parthia. Much easier as you, if you're a Greek faction. All you need to do is just block this side of the river with your phalanx and then the victory is pretty much assured.
So here are the Cilician pirates. These guys are pretty dangerous guy as well. I mean, we won't really see much of them since we are going to shoot them with our horse archers. But if you're fighting these in melee, they are actually pretty scary. They do a lot of attack. They have axes, so they do the bonus against armor, and they can also throw spears. So they're pretty dangerous units. Okay. Since these guys don't seem to be in any rush to cross the river themselves, I'll send one guy over to see if that works. No, you were doing it correctly. Come on. Idiots, 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 absolute idiots. What are you even... Look at this! Yeah! That one, that applause is for you. What's the actual hell, man? What the fuck? That is, that applause is for how fucking retarded you are. Come on, man, just listen to my orders. It's called an order, it's not called a fucking suggestion. Alright, well, tip number three. Sucks that we don't have long-range missiles on these guys, because otherwise I would have been able to hit them already. Yeah, the thing is, they can't play defensive. I need to cross the river. But yeah, once you start shooting them, you can kind of like entice them to come after you, but... Doesn't really work. Well, what I can do, but I'll try now. Actually, hang on. Let's get these guys in proper fucking order because they're all over the place now. There we go. I want them in the same order as their unit cards. I want them. On the battlefield. So the is just going to be confusing. There we go. Okay. Now I'll tell you to run across, but you're not going to run across. You're going to stop on the bridge. There. Move a little bit further. Stop. You can shoot at them, so do so. Hopefully this will force them to do something. And otherwise this will be a very slow battle because then I'll just send everybody on the bridge one by one. Solutions are fucking around, and we are killing them. Very good. Three percent. Oh yes, this is very good, especially when they face us with their sides or rear. Oh, are they sending these guys over now? 
No, they're just teasing. All right, well, I, I guess I can triple speed this because it doesn't look like these guys are going to do anything. Ten percent kills. Drop those guys to 170 already. Yeah, look at them. They just don't want to do anything. Well, it's their fault. So one guy kills almost 20% of the army. Yeah, one guy killed 20%. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 100. In theory, we could kill 120% with my horse archers alone. Okay, well, let's do the same thing. Let's wait until they are gone. Then send this guy across, stop him when he is in range. Stop and open fire. No, oh, they're forming up a bit closer to the river. Let's move you guys a bit closer. Maybe you can shoot at them once they get really close. Yeah, they have also archers, but they don't really haven't really started shooting at us yet. Yeah, there we go. You see, these guys can now reach them. That's good, because that means that this battle will go a bit faster. What a waste of Rodian slingers! Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Looks like they're gonna cross now. Units. 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 March. Move at the top. You know, I did tell you to run. Yeah, there we go, thanks. Yeah, you're useless. Go stand over there. Are they just going to sort of semi-cross? Well, that's still very stupid of them because that still means that they're going to lose a lot of men. And fire! Right, so how much have we killed? 44%. We're doing better. We're ahead of schedule, essentially. There we go. E even though the Celestian Pirates are very good in hand to hand combat, they, you look at them, they only wear like a sort of tunica thing. So. Even though they're super strong, they can easily be killed by arrows.
Alright, looks like we killed the entire Rodian Slinger unit. Because I don't see them anymore. Also dropped the archers below 100. Shoot on these guys. They're more threatening than the uh, militia hoplites. Oh, it looks like they're going to try to cross once again. Oh, they fired back at us. Well, their archers may have gotten a few kills, but... Nowhere near as what I've been able to do. There we go, that one militia hoplite unit is completely destroyed. Alright, and we'll do the same thing. Yeah, if they're going to be super defensive, that's their problem. I mean, yes, they're right. They're on the defense, and I should be the one doing something. But if you're a commander of this army, you see this happen, then you should be the one that thinks, hey, hang on a minute, maybe we should do something about this. General! Okay, they're try once again trying to send the militia hoplites uh, across. And the mercenary hoplites. Oh, okay, they were just faking me out. Ooh, what a great fake out, Seleucus. Great fake out, ooh. That's really benefited you there. There we go. Now they lose some of the mercenary hoplites as well. We're under attack! The Phalanx Spikeman has dropped below 100 units now, and they started out with about 200 units. Well, let's just triple speed until that one guy has run out of ammo. Alright, good job. Go ahead and sit over there because you're dumb. <laughs> and there we go, they lose a whole bunch of the mercenary uplights. And some more phalanx pikemen. Alright, next guy. Open fire. Celestia Pirates, we've killed 61% right now. Oh, by the way, the reason why I'm moving the general all the time is because if everybody stands still the whole time, then the soundtrack will change. And then we get a boring soundtrack, and I don't want a boring soundtrack. Uh, 
All right, let's move them a bit further. They've moved further back, but they're still not far back enough that I can cross my uh, horse archers. Almost below 50, the Phalanx Pikemen. And they're also very tired because they're running around the entire time. It's pretty crazy that no one has actually routed yet. I've only killed full units, but haven't even routed anyone. Alright, only 40 of them left. And 66% is dead. Triple speeds. Oh, they're moving in a bit closer. That's okay, I'll just shoot Cilician Pirates instead. What I am a little bit worried about is that at some point these guys are just going to say fuck it and then leave the battle. Which is definitely a possibility, but let's just hope that it, it doesn't happen. Okay, the Phalanx Spike Banner almost completely destroys. Only nine remaining. We're being Six remaining. No, four. All right, hopefully we can kill them entirely with the rest of the ammo. Two remaining. One, come on, kill him. Don't really want to waste too many arrows on him. Only now he's shaken. There's only one dude left of a unit of over 200 men. And only now he's a bit shaken. Oh, come on. Hit him. There we go. Thank you. There we go. They only have the militia hoplites left. Now let's focus on the Cilician pirates. They'll be a bit easier because they don't have any armor. Sending in the general there a little bit. <laughs> I love how they try to tease me out every time, as if that's accomplishing anything. Only 20 of the Cilician pirates remain. My guy is almost out of ammo. There we go. Good job. Leave. Next guy. You're up. And how much have we killed? 72%. Oh, stop! Whoa, don't go so fucking far. 
That was a bit my own fault, of course, but still. Well, a bit. That was entirely my fault. <laughs> there we go. Nice shots. Two pirates remain. There we go. All pirates are dead. Alright, so I guess they're going to shoot at the archers now. They are. Okay, and after that, it's only the general's units of the mercenary hoplites and then just the cavalry and other two family members. Yeah, you guys can just sit here and chill. You've done all you needed to do. Wow, there were... Uh, I just looked here, there were like over... There were like 80 guys, and now there are only 44. I mean, essentially, the only thing that these guys are wearing is a tunic house, so that kind of uh, makes sense. Well, and, and they wear that Greek hat. Plius, I believe it's called. Something along those lines. I don't really remember what it's called. Only three Greek citizens were allowed to wear one. Oh no, that's the Roman hat. Ah, oh, whatever. It's kind of the same thing. Only 18 left. We are on 80% almost. Again, that doesn't matter if we don't kill the family members, so... The good thing is that we don't really have to run anyone down. We only need to worry about killing the family members. Ten left. They didn't even fight. Oh, they fired like one or two shots, these archers. And, after, and the only other thing they did was just stand here and watch their friends get killed. Seven remain, two of which are officers. Oh, there we go, both officers down, down. Two archers left, one archer left. And there we go. All the archers are gone. 80% of the enemy army is killed. Okay, now they're shooting on the mercenary hoplites. Actually, this would be a better target for you. We can definitely kill them by that, but... Shooting them from the front is uh, a bit more difficult. These guys are easier targets. And they're a bit more dangerous as well. Oh, they're moving. Oh, what are they doing? Okay, they were just... Okay, they're just running there. Okay. Thought they were going to rush across the river. Which would be a smart thing to do, but I haven't seen them do anything smart nowadays. At least during this battle. Okay, switch targets, because we can easily beat that with my general if we have to, and save up, well, save up ammo to, like, use the rest of our ammo wisely, it would be better to try to take out some of the family members with this. That's, yeah, 84%, so we don't really have to worry about killing the regular soldiers anymore. 
We just need to make sure that we kill the family members. That guy and that guy. This guy doesn't matter. This guy doesn't count because he's a captain. And the rest of his army is destroyed anyway, so. 12 minutes. Oh, they're out of ammo. Wait for them to shoot their final shots. This guy can come over. Stop, stop, stop. And shoot him. Ah, oh, that sucks. We wasted our ammo a bit over there. Okay, fire on this guy instead. Actually, cease fire, hold. Run over there, see if we can make that work. Oh my fucking god. You absolute morons! You absolute fucking worthless pieces of shit! Why? You ran so far! Even in previous battles they did it better than that. Okay, you have to pay attention. Just in case they do come back. They did came back. They did come back. Whoa, run, run, run. No, no, no. Run, you idiots. Fire at will. Don't you dare to fuck it up too, General. You can charge all you want, but that's not gonna happen. Ten minutes. Ten minutes to squeeze victory out of this. Okay. Lure them this way. My general should be able to beat them in one-on-one -on -one now. Oh, good job. Stop. You guys run across. Okay, it was a horrible charge, but that doesn't matter. Okay, fired will. Okay, there we go. That guy is dead. Great job. Okay, there we go. He's completely destroyed. Oh, come on. They're cheering. That's not the time to cheer. I mean, I know it's awesome and shit, but... Don't cheer. Come on. Run, run, run. Cease fire. Wipe them out. You get over here. How much have we killed? 92%. Okay. Fire at will. Take care of them. You hold your ass over here. Where are the... Where are the hoplas? Oh, there they are. Okay. You two, you're just going to shoot on those hoplites. Uh, he's a bit close on the battle. Map, uh, the battle line, but it's okay. We are in a good position. Come on, kill him. He needs to die. Oh, nothing orders completed, Great Lord. Don't do that. 
Don't you fucking pull that shit on me! I hate it when he does that. He sometimes just stops doing what he needs to do. Okay, you that he can't catch up to them anymore. These guys can. Well, perhaps they're winded and tired, but they can fire shots at them. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. He's literally the only guy left. Continue. These men are perfect. They are running from the battle in terror. Oh, yes! There we go, Antioch Towers. Whoa. I got really scared there because this fucking asshole just stopped doing what he needed to do for a second. And there goes the captain. All of the commanding officers died in this battle. There we go. No man can take any credit from you for the crushing of your foes. Heroic victory. Nice. Only 23 of those um, Greek cavalry survived, but I don't think they count because it killed everybody else. Yep. Is ours, mighty one. Mighty and there we go. Exterminate. Antioch is ours. <sighs> wow. Okay, so that was the siege of Antioch. Well, it wasn't really a siege, but Antioch is ours now. Oh yes, and it is time for Persian cavalry. That's what we want. Okay, well, I'm going to retrain all of these guys. Going to train one Persian cavalry unit. And I want land. They don't even have the very, very, very first level of farms there. What the hell? Okay, we can also build that palace to expand that. Let's build a trader here. See, now we have a lot of money for that extermination. Increasing tradable goods. Is that worth much? Well, it's worth a decent amount. Let's build that one. And let's build a market here. Oh yeah, we're already building that palisade. Hatra. No, there's nothing we can build in Hatra. There is some stuff we can build in Compass Sakai, I believe. Yeah, better temp. No, no, no. Farms. Orders. Prepare for battle. And these guys want to stand and fight. I'll find that in the next episode, because this episode has gone on long enough. Alright, so, Antioch is ours. That's uh, a relief. Well, this def this guy is definitely going to try to take it back. I mean, I'm very sure that, that he will. Uh, but that's okay, because we can just sally out and beat him. So, I hope you always enjoyed the video. Click the like button if you did. Subscribe to Drogon the Roman Army, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later, Romans. Walete.